I'm going to tie Ada's sliding wishbone rig using those bits of equipment. Utilises a lot of breakaway tackle this one. Uh, those are the imps that we're going to be using. Uh, you need some amnesia cascade swivel from breakaway, central part of this rig. And you can use some sequins, a small 180 pound swivel, a couple of those, and then another swivel with a link that's to your main line. We're going to use power gum, we're actually going to use that to good effect on this rig and selection of beads is up to you which ones really that will become clear a couple of hooks two o's and these quick change clips they're also from breakaway they're another important part of this rig and your grease weasel main line so you're going to be using a wishbone but it uses the cascade swivel to put the whole bait right on the seabed so i'm going to use these imps on this rig as well I uh, haven't used these too much, but we're going to take a look at how to put those on. They're a little bit fiddly, these imps, actually. Uh, they come in two parts. When you get them out of the box, you'll see here they, uh, you've got your plastic bit, which is obviously your bait hook as well. You put your hooks on there. So you've got to make sure you get them the right way up. Uh, it's basically got on the side of that grey bit, it's got a plastic hook, which is obviously for your hooks to go on. And then the other bit, it's quite hard to do just with your fingers to get that clip on so they recommend i think using a like the lead if you just put that in it just opens it up just a little bit and um, with a little bit of fiddling around I'll speed that up and they do go on quite easily you can probably do a better job than me at these that's it and then that in turn will move freely so that when the hooks are on and the baits on there hits the surface and the hook releases so we're going to use that on this rig tying on one meter of the um, grease weasel we're actually using here so a meter of that about 50 pound line should do it and tie that straight on to it a thread a bead down there as well now you want to take your cascade swivel next and thread that down the line it's important to make sure the cascade swivel is the right way around as well offset eye if you like uh, that will be running along the main line of the rig and then to the other end you're going to tie on um, that's just a clip that's going to go onto the main line I use these little quick release ones but however you're going to attach your rig to the main line there so it's right at the top of the rig now we're going to take some of these mini links as well these are also from breakaway uh, they are essential for this rig because you're going to use some power gum to uh, use the cascade swivel it will become clear in a minute so clip that on to the bottom of the swivel there and then you're going to tie it on your amnesia 25 pound line and that's the snood going down to the hook snood it's going to be a wishbone hook snood take a look at the video at the end of this and it actually shows you how to make your hook snoods all the same length so basically you've got a one meter trace using about a meter of line as well to tie both the hook snood and the wishbone snood and what we're doing on here then we're tying on the wishbone element of the rig and you can put whatever beads you want on here if you want to use sequins whatever colors you think will work this is the opportunity to do it so with a swivel in the middle just put your beads on as you want some people say red beads some people say black does it matter I don't know one for the comments that I think um, as long as it's equal either side of the swivel so you've got the same amount of um, beads and sequins on either side and then you want to put your hooks onto the wishbone as well we're using 2O hooks I think they are for here but again it depends on the species size of the species so your flat fish hooks really tie those both on now you might want to utilize some of this power gum as well just to keep some of the bait stops in place there or even crimp the swivel that sits in the middle of the wishbone there into place so have a play around with the beads color wise and what have you and by all means use the power gum just to put a stop in there for your bait that's a snood coming off the cascade swivel here 
and then on the other end you've got your wishbone bit we're going to use the power gun to join the mini link these little breakaway ones we're going to tie it onto there and then on the other end of that power gun you're only going to need between five and ten centimeters just to put some spring in the line you're going to tie a swivel and then that swivel goes onto the cascade swivel that you've already got running up and down the line and that way when the bait hits the water the hook snood will slide off that cascade swivel giving a nice long trace 